Welcome to today's full body workout. We are doing everything today. Before we jump into the video real quick, thank you to everyone who made suggestions and recommendations. If you have a particular video you want me to make, leave me comments. I read them. All right, that's enough announcements. Let's jump straight into the warm up. We are starting off with air squats. You're going to scoot that booty back and drop it low. This workout is one of the best ones I have ever made. I'm not even exaggerating. Legs, booty, abs, waist, arms, everything. Side bends, keep your core engaged. Feet should be about shoulder width apart and lean as far to each side as you can. We wanna make sure that core is warmed up because, because, you're gonna see that looks good you're doing good already give me those boxer shuffles just shimmy your waist from side to side perfect maintain that pace beautiful your energy is good today I can just tell keep going you're almost there last warm-up of this workout is knee hugs you're going to pull your knees toward your chest perfect you're doing good i like it make sure your core is engaged you got it you're doing good just tap your knee put the leg down Perfect. Our first exercise is alternating lunges. If you're unable to do lunges, because I know they bother some of you old sneezes. Is that a word? Sneezes? I'm not editing this out. <laughs> if it bothers your knee, do the modification you see in the corner. Step all the way out. And if you're doing the modification, raise your knee all the way up. In both versions, make sure your core is tight. Very good. Keep going. You made it. You are here to work. This is working your thighs and your legs really well. Rise and plie. To do this ridiculously sexy move, you're going to point your toes out. And when you stand up from that squat, you want to go on your tiptoes. This is a really good squat modification because it helps work your calf muscles as well. Good, good. It's okay to go slow at first and then once you get the movement, you will have more confidence to do it a little smoother. So that's good. Make sure you're sitting back as you go down and then go on your tiptoes. Really feel your calf muscles working in this movement. Is your core engaged? Yes, okay, just checking. Give me some back taps. We're gonna get your heart rate up and also start to engage the arms, the upper body, and the back. Start with your legs. Once you get the leg movements down, get your arms parallel to the floor and just wave them. Like you're trying to hug something, but your arms are refusing to come all the way forward. As you're waving your arms from side to side, think about your shoulder blades in the back. So you want to touch your shoulder blades together in the back to bring your arms backward and then bring them forward and keep those legs moving. I know it's a lot at once, but you're doing it. You're doing it in your own way and that's good. Make sure your core is tight, protects your whole body. It's good for you. That was awesome. That was actually really awesome. We're going to do an Arnold press next. You want to have a very slight bend in your knee. Toes are pointed out. And bring your elbows forward. If you have dumbbells, you can hold on to them. Otherwise, do the bodyweight version with me. Be very intentional as you do this. Squeeze those muscles. At first, you may not feel them, but the more you do this workout, the more you will feel those muscles. If your chesticles are getting in the way of your arms, I feel your pain. Don't worry. Just go through your own range of motion. Extend your arms all the way up. Awesome. That's so good. All right. Give me some speed bag punches. You're going to have a, it's basically you doing a boxer shuffle with your legs and then adding in your arms. We want to get the whole body worked. After this, you're going to get a very quick break. So give me everything you have left. Are you ready? Let's go. Just a gentle shuffle. 
in one spot. Keep those arms at your chest level. Very good. Keep going, keep going. You can do it. You're so close. After this, you get a break. Don't hoard your energy. Let it all out. Almost there. Less than 10 seconds to go. You're doing it. You're looking good. Looking fly. Awesome. Take this time to rest. While you're catching your breath, I just wanted to quickly mention that on my website, I have planned your whole year of workouts for you. January through December, you never have to think about what workout to do ever again. All the work done for you. You also get access to my booty program. You also get access to my 30-day challenge and my belly fat program. All this is available to you to try for free on kabokofitness.com. So go ahead, check it out. I think you'll be very glad you did. Welcome back. Don't think too hard about it. Don't contemplate this. We're doing it together. We're going to do a wall sit. Find a wall and basically squat with your back leaning against the wall and hold it. The timer is just a suggestion. Do as long as you can. Let's go. Make sure your feet are flat on the floor. Your stomach is sucked in. Your lower back is flush against that wall. Oh, it burns. It burns. It burns. You're doing good. Hold it. You can do this. Make sure your thighs are parallel to the floor. You should have a 90 degree angle between your hips and your leg. It's going to burn that thigh. And that's what we want. You're almost there. You're doing so amazing. The workout's almost complete. That was, that was really good. Find your mat if you have one. We're going to the floor to do some high crunches. You're going to keep a very slight bend in your knee. And just try to touch your toes toward... Touch your ankle, basically. Are you ready? Okay, let's go, let's go. Of course, this exercise is in here for your ab area, that six pack area, that I'm gonna wear my bikini and stunt on my X area. That's what we're working here. Squeeze your ab muscles as you raise your upper body off of the floor. It's okay if you're not touching your ankle. It's just that you're reaching for it. That's the idea. Perfect. Of course, naturally, we're going straight into some booty work with a glute bridge hold. You want your ankles directly underneath your knees and you squeeze your glutes and hold. Hold for as long as you can. Again, the timer is just what? A suggestion. Let's go. You might find it difficult to stay in one place like this woman on the screen. Do your best. Squeeze that muscle. This is like glute bridges, but on steroids. This is so intense and so effective. You don't have to shimmy your waist. Just ignore, ignore that. Just squeeze and hold. Less than five seconds to go. You can do it. You can totally do it. Very good. Okay, we're going to work on the back next. You want to flip over, lay on your chest. You're going to raise your opposite arm and your opposite leg. When you raise that arm and that leg, pause briefly and then take it back down to the mat. Listen, everybody is awkward doing this, so don't feel awkward. Just be proud of yourself that you're doing your workout. Keep going. Raise the thigh as high off the mat as it would allow you to raise it. That looks good. Yes, keep going. You have only one more exercise and this entire workout is complete. That was good. Last move of the day is track steps. You're going to start off in a plank position and just step one foot at a time. This is a wonderful exercise for your ab area and really almost every muscle in your body is working to make this possible. Let's go. Step. Step. Step in, step out, step in, step out. Don't think too hard about it. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Keep going. Remember all your enemies, all your haters. Think about them. Let them be motivation for you to keep moving. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. You're almost there. Less than 10 seconds to go. Oh, yeah. You worked out today. That was so good. Make sure you get a bit of a cool down in. I'm out. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in my next workout video.